always the center of the circle m and p r it's a cyclic quadrilateral right so let's just highlight m and p r so we're saying that m um m and p r is a cyclic quadrilateral and sn is the diameter so we have sn is the diameter there and then how uh, we have code ms and radius or right so let's jot down our keywords right we know that we can use uh, the properties of a cyclic uh, quad right and then what else do we have? We have diameter. We know that it subsend an angle of 90 degrees on the circumference of the circle. And then we have chord, right? Uh, equal chords, subtend equal angles, and so on. And then we are told that M2 is equal to 64 degrees. I think now we can answer our question. 8.1.1 says that uh, let's determine, given reasons, the size of the following angles. And then we start in with P, right? Uh, P is this angle here. But because we know that M and P R is a cyclic quad, then P plus M2 should be equal to 180 degrees, right? Uh, that's a property of a cyclic quad. Uh, so we have uh, M2 plus P being equal to 180 degrees, right? Um, opposite angles uh, of a cyclic quad uh sum up to 180 right and then what is the size of m2 m2 is 64 degrees and then plus p which we're looking for uh being equals to 180 degrees so now it should be easy to see here that p is equal to 116 degrees right and then 8.1.2 saying that uh, let's determine the size of m1 so m1 is this angle here right so let's go to our keywords we have we've used a cyclic quad already and then uh, m1 is nothing to do with the cyclic quad right so now let's use the keyword diameter right if we use the keyword diameter there we'll see that uh, m1 plus m2 will be equal to 90 degrees right because they have been subtended by diameter sn so now we're saying that m1 plus m2 should be equal to 90 uh, degrees right uh, why are we saying that it should be close to 90 degrees uh, because it's being subtended uh, by a diameter right so now we can say that m1 should be equal to 90 degrees minus uh, 64 degrees right uh, that is m2 so m1 should be equal to 26 degrees and uh, the last one 8.1.3 we're looking for the size of O1, right? Uh, if we come to our keywords here, uh, the only keyword that we have left is quadrant, right? but it won't help us with much. Uh, but what I want you to realize here is that O1 should be twice M1, right? We're saying that O1 here should be twice M1, right? Because an angle at the center of the circle is twice the angle at the circumference if they are from the same arc, right? You can see here that O1 is a consequence of SR here and the same is true with M1, right? O1 is at the center and M1 is at the circumference. So now we can say that O1 is equal to 2 multiplied by M1. Uh, but what is M1? M1 is 26 degrees, right? So 2 multiplied by 26, uh, that should be 52 degrees.